Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys my Barrel Dragon Bandit Keith Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for March 2018. Uh, following the trend with the release of Legendary Duelist Ancient Millennium, bringing you guys a uh, Barrel Dragon deck profile. I think it's pretty awesome that the deck got support in the way it did with new barrel monsters and some spell and traps to help manipulate the coin flips to better suit and protect your dragon. Uh, barrel dragon uh, monsters uh, there are machines actually but the deck is really really fun and altogether like i said a, f a true fun deck because it you know relies on coin flips to get off a lot of the destruction effects so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so for the monsters i'm running three desperado barrel dragon i would say this is your uh, big monster of the deck if a face-up dark machine monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect you can special summon this card from your hand once per turn during the battle phase it's a quick effect you can toss three coins and destroy face-up monsters on the field up to the number of heads and then if the result was three heads you draw one card this card cannot attack the turn this effect is activated and if this card is sent uh, to the graveyard, you can add one level 7 or lower monster that has a coin tossing effect from your deck to your hand. So, the fact that it has the search for the coin tossing effect means you run plenty of those coin flip uh, barrel dragon related monsters in this deck. And the destruction effect really helps overall, and it's easy special summon is a definite 3 of, since you can lose a lot of monsters and easily have this access in your hand. And three of the original Barrel Dragon, just because it's very easy to special summon with cards like Monster Reborn and the other special summon uh, cards in the deck. I might bump this down to two Barrel Dragon and three Blowback Dragon, uh, but all in all, the destruction um, effect, still very easy and good stats off this card make it a definite in this deck. And speaking of blowback dragon, two blowbacks. Um, like I said, I might bump this to three, uh, mostly because of the uh, two results for the heads and a one tribute if necessary for this guy. With still some pretty, um, you know, basic balance stats overall compared to the barrel dragon, which um, if you can't special summon, it requires the two tributes to summon. Uh, just a definite it try to adjust ratio depending on the player on what they want to do and also three twin barrel dragon the level four uh, version when it's summoned target one card your opponent controls toss a coin twice if the results are both heads destroy it so um, 1700 attack with the flip effect once again for easy uh, destruction and it's also that normal summon option if you want as well for barrel dragon monsters so you have that to rely back on as well and I also run three of the new BM4 Blast Spider. Uh, once per turn, you can target one Dark Machine type monster you control and one face up card your opponent controls, destroy them. If a monster you control that was originally a Dark Machine destroys an opponent's monster by battle or card effect and sends it to the graveyard, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of one of those monsters destroyed and sent to the graveyard. You can only use the effect of BM. For Blast Spider once per turn. So this is like the new launcher spider of the deck. Uh, very, very powerful since um, it has some pretty overall good stats, but the destruction effect on your monsters and burning down your opponent uh, really helps to make use of the destruction effects of all your other uh, barrel dragon uh, monsters uh, with those destruction effects and his own as well. So a definite three of them in the deck. It helps with so many different plays. And I also run three Jack Wyvern uh, for easy special summon. You can banish this card and one face up machine monster you control, then target one dark monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can only use the effect once per turn. Grab back your bigger dragons by basically getting rid of your weaker machine type monsters. I know I keep calling them dragons and they are machines. Kind of um, confuses me a bit uh, just going back and forth saying dragons, but they are machine type monsters, but I meant to say the barrel dragon monsters, obviously. But Jack Wyvern definitely helps with that easy special summon um, with its own effect. And I also run two Black Selva with the level fours you run uh, in this, selecting a Dark Machine. Uh, too, too easy to get off a very easy level seven Synchro, which you can go for Black Rose or Moonlight Rose, which are my two uh, main targets in this deck. And that is it for the monsters. We'll now move on to spells. I run two heavy metal raiders. Uh, it's a field spell that the first time each dark monster you control will be destroyed by battle each turn. And it's not destroyed. And if you took battle damage 
from battle, it gains that much attack after damage calc and keeps that attack as long as this card is on the field. And once per turn, if a monster you control that was originally a dark machine destroys a card slash cards on the field by battle or card effect, you can special summon one dark machine monster from your hand. So opening up with those uh, machine monsters in your hand for the easy special summon, um, very good with this card. Uh, the protection effect also comes in handy for the battle in case you want to save them for next turn to try the coin flip again for destruction. Only two though because I run the one terraforming to search it out. It's not really a card that benefits you from searching or plussing so opening up too too many of them can be a dead draw. That's why I like to rely on the one terraforming and the two heavy metal raiders uh, plays to at least make sure you grab them. Plus the one limiter removal uh, machines all around so you can definitely benefit from that. And also three Allure of Darkness, they are all dark monsters, so uh, get off draws, getting rid of, you know, unnecessary darks in your hand and hoping to draw better things you can use. And I also run two Foolish Burial Goods. Now this is for the uh, Photon Blast Trap card, which is quite insane what you can do with this and Foolish Burial Goods just to benefit from your coin toss. Um, also Monster Reborn for getting back uh, your big machine monsters from the graveyard. And one upstart for uh, draw consistency. Also the one reasoning, now this helps because you run the level fours uh, as well as the you know level sixes and sevens and the eights. So uh, big guess for your opponent on you know what to attempt to take out. And I also like to run two future fusions. Now this I like because we run Gatling Dragon in the deck, which um, you can basically, after this resolves on the next turn, send uh, those monsters to the graveyard, which if they're in the graveyard with cards like Monster Reborn or uh, better uses like Call of the Haunted, to special summon them out to the field. It's a very fun, fast play if you can get it off properly. And that is it for the spell cards. We'll now move on to traps. I run two Proton Blasts. Now this card, uh, its effect is once per turn. If an activated card effect tosses coins, immediately after it resolves, apply the following effects depending on the number of heads. If it's one heads, you inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Two, destroy one card your opponent controls. Three, look at your opponent's hand and discard one card from their hand. Now, that's just like an extra little bonus from your coin flips in case the uh, heads succession doesn't work and you don't end up destroying something. Get a little benefit there. But what I like is with the Foolish Burial Goods, when an effect is activated that tosses two or more coins, um, you can banish this card from the graveyard, treat all the results as heads. I think that's quite amazing um, for that, meaning you can basically get a guaranteed three heads when this card's in the graveyard. So get this in there with Foolish Burial Goods or after its own destruction, and then uh, basically play off your coin flip from there. and You know, just have a guaranteed um, knowing you're going to get three heads. Especially with Desperado, it's really, really cool. And I also run three Call of the Haunted with the Send Effect from Future Fusion, running three of this to special summon back your big machines. Uh, pretty much standard. And to finish up the main deck, just the one Judgment and the one Warning. Just a little extra backup protection since you don't really use life points for anything in this deck. So this uh, little combo is definitely helpful with your other sets and your traps. And that's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra. Two Gatling Dragon. This um, card requires Barrel Dragon and Blowback Dragon to summon. Meaning you can send both of them with the future fusions to the graveyard. You might not get the summon of the monster, but putting them in the graveyard, like I said, helps with Monster Reborn, Call the Haunted, that kind of stuff. So um, overall, very, very nice to be able to uh, use these monsters for that send effect. And for the Synchros, the Moonlit... Um, Dragon and the Black Rose Dragon for the Black Salvos. Uh, field clearing and bouncing. Uh, basically the only times really I need to go into the uh, extra deck with the Black Salvo for Synchro plays. And for the bigger ones, if you can get them out and you need those options, the uh, number 23 and the Heretic Sun Heliopolis. If you have Felgran, I'd take that out for the Heliopolis. Other than that, uh, just some rank 8 plays to have them for options. Same with the uh, Thunder Charger and the Big Eye. If you have the Dracosac, uh, I believe it is a machine, so a better option uh, next to Big Eye. And then just for the level 4, since we run plenty of them, one Power Tool, uh, one Silent Honor Arc, one Castell, one Baguska, uh, one gear gigant because of uh, the machines obviously for searches for maybe some better machines to use later on and for the 
uh, Link Monsters, yeah, I played Borolo Dragon in the Barrel Dragon deck. The names just sound so, so similar together. Uh, if you can get this card out, obviously, uh, very powerful. Same with the Decode Talker. I just like having the Link uh, Monster options there available um, in case things like Buguska. Stopping your monster plays really weaken the deck ever pop up. You have these for those options. But that is it for the extra deck, and that is it for the main deck. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, um, definitely excited with all the different decks that are out for the Ancient Millennium. So if you guys have any more recommendations on what I should do next, uh, comment down below, and I'll definitely look into completing those first. I know I want to do Relinquish. I want to do uh, Ultimate Great Moth with Insect Queen. They all seem like awesome decks. I'm in love with this uh, Legendary Duelists, awesome cards and all that. I'm glad I was able to bring you the update to this deck as well. But once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.